Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve another exercise on tangent problem, an aspect of technical drawing or you call it engineering drawing. Now if you look at this diagram, right? If we say we want to draw the extra size here, the extra the actual diameter dimension given to be too big. So I want to reduce the word the dimension. So what I'm going to do here is this. I am going to divide every length I have here by two to make my work easier. And this is what I'm going to do here. Let's look at it very well. Now, if you look at this, this is 178. Or well, let's start from here. This is 90. So if I divide 90 by two, I'm going to be having what? 45. So the guy here I'm using from now on will be what? 45 half of the radius right here's also 90 here will be diameter of what 45 right here's your 45 to be radius of what 22.5 that's half of 45 here is 6 to be radius of what 3 i'm dividing everything by 2 then here is this to be radius of what 22.5 Right, here is 32, so I'll be using what? Radius of what? 16. Here is 45, I'll be using diameter of what? 22.5. Here is diameter of 90, I'll be using diameter of what? 45. Right, then 178 will be 89. I'll be using 89, the distance of this will be what? 89. And what else again? This 22, I'll be using what? Distance of what? 11. So to make my work easier, right? So I'll now use the actual dimension given. I'm using half of the dimension. So I'm taking ratio of what? One. That is ratio of one is to two. Half of the dimension given. So let's start. So the first thing you first of all do here is this. You draw your vertical and horizontal line. Let me start with my vertical line. With the help of my set square, and I will draw my vertical line this way, like this. Uh, let me put here. I have this this way. I'm good. Now I will just take a point here, and I'm going to draw this. I'll take a point here. I will draw this. So this is my center point here hmm? let me even extend it more for you to see there's my center point here so if you look at my diagram very well i have two centers if you look at this this point here is one center let me enlarge it so you see what i'm talking about this one is one center this is another word center so the distance of the two center is what I'm not using the actual diameter, I'll use the half of it, which is what? 89. I'm going to measure 89. 89 from this center to the next center. So this is 89 from 0 to 89. So let's move that and see. From 0 to 89. So we can still bring it down a little bit. Okay. This is 89. How good? So this point here is my 89. And I wanna take my T square, take this point. And I wanna draw this other line too, this way. So these are my two centers. So I have two centers there. Now if you look at this diagram again, in this center there is a circle here, right? And the diameter of the circle is what? I'm not using actual one, I'm using the reduced one, 45. So diameter means divide by 2. So I'm going to divide this 45 by 2, I'll be having 22.5. Right? So I will measure 22.5 on my meter rule. This will be my 22.5 here. This is 22.5 here. Alright? So. I'll place it at the center. Can you see that? And I'm going to draw my circle with faint line. This way. There's my 22.5.
are we good? Now, in doing that, I'm having this circle here. Let me make it bigger. Oh, well, bolder. Should be a faint line. That's what I'm having. Now, if you look at this also, I've drawn this outside one. Now, the next circle is 22 away from this center, but I'm not using 22, I'm using this word 11. So, make sure 11 away from this center. 11 away from the center. This is 11 here. Right? So, but the bigger circle, there's one, this, from this 11, there's a radius here of 90. I'm using the, the half of it already. That is 45. Right? So, I'm going to measure 45 on my meter rule. It's 45 here. From 0 to this is 45. Right? That's 4.5. And I'll place it at this point, right? And I'm going to draw my circle, another one, as you can see, right? That's my circle there. Now, if you look at this again, I have another radius of what? 45, but I'm using 22.5, right? So I'm going to measure 22.5. I know that. This actual is 20.5 here from the beginning, or I measure it from my meter rule 20.5. Right? So I'll come at this point. I'm going to mark it here. I'll place it back to that point. I'm going to draw my circle. Right? I'll do the same thing again from this second point. No, the first one is from this one. The second one will be from this one. I'm going to mark it again. I'll place it here. I'm going to get my second point. Are we good? So I've drawn the circles I'm drawing now. But what do you notice? Hmm? Do you notice something? We're moving forward. What I did here is just from this point here, let me enlarge it so you what I'm talking about. From here, the circle, the first circle is 22.5. The second circle is on from the other point. First circle from this point, second circle from this point. So that's why I just did. Now look at this. We're moving forward. Now we're going to the other center, which is this. Right? So there's a circle that is tangential from this. I will draw another circle from here. From this point here. I'll draw another circle. If you look at it very well. This outer circle is diameter of 90, but I'm using diameter of 45, like I told you earlier. So half of 45 is 22.5, right? So that means 22.5 still, you measure it on your meter rule, 22.5, right? And you come to this point. This point, right? And you draw your 22.5 here. Can you see that? Draw your 22.5. Now, if you look at it again, the inner one is diameter of what? 22.5. This inner circle have a diameter of what? 22.5. So half of 22.5 is what? 11.25. So I'm going to measure 11.25. Let's say it's 11. Somewhere around here. Then I'm going to come down here. And I'll place it at this point. No taking it. All this I've been drawing, so I'm taking it right. I'm having that guy. Then the other part, if you look at this, everything around is also ticking. So I can easily take that one too. Yeah. How good? So we're going down what? Back. Now, if you look at this now very well, there's a line that's coming from the center to touch this circle here, this bigger circle. The line from the center is touching this bigger circle. So what I'll do, I'll take my metal rule, and I'll target it from the center here, and I'll ensure that it's tangential to this circle here. Can you see? Tangential to this circle here. So I'm going to just draw it from here, faint line. Then I can mind taking it from here. 
Can you see that? Then, if you look at the next one, it is coming from the outside of the circle to the inside of the circle here. From the outside of the circle to the inside of this here. Tidal shell also. So, I'm going to draw that. And let that part. You can see? Now we we'll move here. Now what do you notice? Just place it at this. The center of this big circle is this 11 here that we measured. So I'll place it here. And I'm going to target it to this point. Hmm? Hope you can see that. So I'm going to thicken it. So it will stop here. All good. So from here, the second one is from the center, the smaller one is from the center. Now place it here. Right? And I'll take it to this point. Hope you can see that. And I'll move it to this point here. It will not be double what I have this here. Right? And the next one from this point here. Come here and now just do this. Right? Come to the next one with the same medias. Just measure it to this point. So I might just take my metal rule because it's very small. I can't measure that, so I'll just cover here up. Is that again? Now if you notice now the next thing remaining will be this guy here. And if you look at that guy very well, let me zoom it so it's what I'm talking about. If you look at that guy very well. We are using radius of what 16, not the actual 32, we are using half of the, di the um, dimension. So I'm going to measure a parallel line to this line of radius of what 16, a parallel line to this line. Right? So I, what I'll do is I'm going to measure um, 16. Right? This 16. And I'll place it anywhere on this line. Probably I may place it here. I'll draw a parallel line like this. I'll come another point again very close to it. I'll draw another parallel line. So I will ensure that my line, let me show you this. From this point where they meet, I will just ensure that the top the tips are touching each other. I'll just draw a parallel line this way. Can you see that? The line to this line is what is parallel. So if you notice this diagram here, you discover that this is also a port O, like an external circle. So you do you feel port O, so you are going to feel this time you are adding, feeling means adding. So if you look at this, that the radius of this bigger circle here, given to be half of this, which is 22.5. Abi? So 22.5 plus 16 will give you 32.5, I'm not mistaken, 38.5 right so i'm going to measure 38.5 on my meter rule 38.5 on my meter rule sorry let me take it down a little bit 38.5 on my meter rule this 38.5 somewhere around here right and i'll place it at this center here hmm? and i'll just cut on this circle can you see where I cut here? So I'll place it at this point and I'll gauge it. So I'm going to have what I want to have. I'm going to gauge it from this point here. So you measure your radius. I thought I measured radius of 